Welcome to our channel, where nightmares come to life and fears become reality. Brace yourself for spine-chilling tales of horror and the macabre as we delve into the darkest corners of the human psyche. Our stories will take you on a journey through the unknown, where danger lurks in every shadow and the supernatural is all too real. From haunted houses to demonic possessions, from cursed objects to vengeful spirits, our channel is your gateway to a world of terror and suspense. So are you ready to face your fears? Join us as we explore the twisted, nightmarish world of horror and experience the thrill of the unknown. So let's get started. Ava was what the other waitresses called a big girl. Her legs were as wide and strong as oaks. Her forearms were as thick and firm as saplings. She took up more space and breathed more air than some people thought a woman should. And they reminded her every time she squeezed herself onto the bus, huffing and snickering as if her ears weren't exquisitely attuned to sub-vocalized ridicule. The horror of those breathless bus rides spent contracting and contorting herself to avoid brushing against seatmates was the major reason she bought her truck. She chose an older Ford, as sturdy and practical as she was. Tonight, driving home after the dinner shift, she gloried in her self-contained solitude. Moonlight filtered through branches and dappled the road with light. She smiled. Ava had spent her twenties trying to whittle herself down, collecting an eating disorder or two along the way. Now, at 32, she had forgiven her body for its unruly dimensions, allowing it to exist without censure. She was wondering if she had the right ingredients for a tuna carbonara when a cat streaked across the road and under her tire. Kathump! Yowl! Screech! Ava slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. The dark mass in the rearview mirror wasn't moving. Heart juddering in her chest, she pulled over and climbed out of the truck. She turned on her flashlight app and found the broken feline crushed against the pavement. Her eyes flooded with tears. The cat wore a jeweled collar. Someone, somewhere, was waiting for a beloved pet that would never return home. She carried the limp, furry bundle to the side of the road where she could look for a tag. When the light from her phone illuminated the crone, she almost swallowed her tongue. The old woman was nearly as tall as she was, with a mane of wild, bone and iron hair. She reached out her long, gnarled hands. At first, Ava thought the older woman meant to strangle her. Then she remembered the soft, damp body in her arms. She held out the cat like an offering. The crone snatched it up. Thinner, whispered the old woman, clutching her dead pet. The timbre of her voice was like an ill wind stirring up long, dead leaves. The next morning, Ava felt strangely ravenous. She supposed it was being so close to death the night before. She shrugged and padded into the kitchen, where she made a Brobdingnagian six-egg omelet with mushrooms and gruyere. She devoured it and mopped up the eggy, cheesy remains with four slices of buttered toast. Then she washed it all down with three cups of milky coffee. When she was finished, she debated running to the bathroom for a quick purge. It had been three years since she stopped vomiting and spent her life savings on fixing her teeth. She told herself she could probably throw up a few times without wrecking her veneers. No, you can't. Not again. She took a deep breath and emailed her therapist. She explained the accident, the cat, the crone, and her sudden, uncontrollable hunger. She spent the rest of the day in her garden, methodically pulling weeds and trying to ignore the burning sensation in her gut. When it was time to put on her waitress uniform, she cringed with dread. She remembered the bad old days, when she tended to retain water after a binge and purge cycle. She fervently hoped she would be able to zip the dress past her midsection. But when she tried, the strangest thing happened. The uniform was loose. Cap sleeves gaped around her upper arms. The waist was decidedly roomy. Ava grinned. It was a miracle, a divine reprieve. And then she remembered the dead cat, the crone's whisper. She shivered with fear and a sickly kind of hope with the realization she might have been cursed. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the darkness. We hope you've enjoyed our tales of terror and suspense and that they've kept you on the edge of your seat. Remember, the world of horror is vast and ever-changing, so be sure to stay tuned for more spine-chilling stories and bone-rattling scares. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all our latest content. 
And as always, keep your eyes open and your flashlight handy, because you never know what horrors lurk in the shadows.